All right, folks, here we are, another uh, beautiful day in sunny New Hampshire, and <clears throat> today we got to fix some irrigation. So this guy right here, um, this zone right here is always on. So no matter what I do, uh, I turn off the controller, everything's off, uh, this guy will come right on and won't shut off. So I have to turn off the water at the main. Um, so what I think the problem is here is there's actually a membrane, like a circular membrane right here that moves up and down. Um, based on this relay, whenever uh, any air flows let in on this relay. So that membrane is probably stuck or one of the gaskets are off. So we're just going to open it up and clean it out, and I want to show you what it looks like inside. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here because it's going to take a while for me to get all these screws off, and we're just going to pull that head right off. And I'll show you how that's done. All right, so we're back here, and all I did was take this guy right off the top here, okay? It was right on there, and he came off. See, there's a spring right there. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy over here real quick. Just so I don't lose any of the screws or anything <clears throat> in the grass. And there's two things you want to look for here. Okay. Um, well, first of all, I want to try and make sure you don't get any sand or dirt in there. Uh, but there's two things you kind of want to look for. Um, one is this actual membrane here. Make sure that it's moving up and down. And if you have like a pair of pliers or something, you want to pull up on that guy. Um, the other thing you want to look for is uh, the gasket, and I didn't see the gasket on there, so hopefully, yeah, you see the gasket right there around the edge? Sometimes that gasket um, moves around a little bit, but here, let's see if we can pull this guy out. Hang on. Okay, we're back. Had to get my multi-tool out. So yeah, you want to make sure this guy's moving up and down, right? Just like that. And you can take it all the way out and everything. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Goes back in there. Okay. So just check that. Make sure it's, you know, sliding very well, sliding well. And then put our thing back in there. Right there. And actually, I like to seat the gasket sometimes right on top of the thing. So, okay, let me put you on the tripod. Okay, so I take this gasket right here, okay, this guy right here, and just line it right up in there. So it just sits on that lip, okay, and then, very carefully, put our, now this guy's got to line back up again, right, so you got to line up with that circle right there, okay, you can see that. Okay, we put this back on, and this guy right here will also screw on and off, so you want to make sure that's on there nice and tight. Usually do that after I screw this guy back on. And that's it, and we line it up, like so. And we want to tighten it in a uh, kind of a star pattern. So we go here first, and then back here. And then over here. And you just kind of keep going back and forth on either side, right? So we go over here, here, we'll go over here. Until you start to feel resistance. And then back up here. And that, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me put these screws back on, but you just keep going around an alternating pattern that way. Uh, but the general idea is um, I had this problem before and all I need to do is pull off this head, and it's a little intimidating because, you know, you hear there's springs and membranes, and uh, but that that's really all there is to it. So uh, you take that out and uh, make sure that membrane's moving around and that the, um, that the gasket's in a good good spot, and you should be good to go. So hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, leave them in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.